going on this year, people are getting more and more calls to support their local police. Now, leaving politics aside for a minute, how do you know if those calls are real? Wendy Beckman got a call the other day from a man asking her to help retired police and firefighters. Being a generous person, she agreed to mail them $50. My brother was a cop, my cousin was a cop, one of my sons is a cop, so I uh, really want to support the police for what they do. But then she started to worry, especially when she couldn't find the group listed as a charity anywhere online. She remembers news stories from two years ago about a man who raised thousands of dollars for the Shop with a Cop program, then allegedly spent it on personal expenses. I got burned a couple of years ago when I found out another charity I was contributing to was not a real charity. So I thought I should probably check this one out. So what should she have done? Well, the Better Business Bureau says if anyone calls or knocks asking you to help the police, the best thing you can do is ask them for information before you agree to donate. The words police and the words firefighter, they're not trademarked. So it's very easy for scammers to use those names and create fake organizations. And it's very easy to catch the eye of someone. Who's Sarah Kimmer of the BBB told me you should look them up at the BBB website or Charity Navigator, or GuideStar.org. Turns out police and fire retirees is a legitimate nonprofit lobbying group, though it's not a charity under IRS rules. Wendy's fine with that and will sleep better now. Sure that there are a lot that are just not on the level, and so you, you kind of have to be cautious. You're welcome. Still not sure? Call your local police department and ask if you can donate to them so you don't waste your money. I'm John Mattery's News 3.